when I uh, got fired uh, for fucking all the students of my first job <laughs> in Japan. I mean, that's the best way to put it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because they were jealous, yeah. Was yeah. Fuck- I was supposed to fuck some students, but not too many. <laughs> <laughs> they used it for, they used it for, I mean, they used it for, like, to sell students. Mm. You know, they put a handsome teacher, whoever they thought would mm. bring in draw. And then, you know, people sign up, and they'll have a handsome, a pretty girl, and then the guys sign up, right? So, anyway, so that's just, it was just a, it was like a, it was a well-known thing, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, wait, no, where was I going? I lost my train of thought. I started thinking about girls. Oh, angels, angels. So, so then, so then, but I was the only guy who really understood what was going on. I understood the situation with these girls, and I'm like, and I figured women out all that we year, like in a couple months. I'm like, holy shit, this is super fucking easy, right? And uh, and I was just and I was just working it. I was just working it. It was like the whole school was like a fucking. I was pimping the whole school. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 2002. It was crazy. I'm serious. If I, yeah. You don't even... Yeah. But, so then... Yeah. Yeah. It was really... And then when the, when the, when the, when the principal, when the owner, when he found out, because when that was one of my girls, she complained to him. And so she was a total cunt. Yeah. And so, yeah. She was divorced. She's like 28, divorced, ex-ballerina, had a nice body and everything, but she was, you know, I think her name was Chio. I think it was Chio, fucking Chio, yeah. And so she got me fired. She went to him and said, hey, he's fucking all these married girls in class and all the girls, and, you, know, he, you know, and so he was like, he started asking around. He thought, oh, and then he found out, holy shit, what's going on in my school? And so then he's like, oh, you fucking got to get rid of this guy. Mm-hmm. And so then he fired me. And then right before Christmas, and I was doing what he wanted. You know what I mean? Well. I was bringing it. Yeah, the girls were signing up $10,000 courses. You know, they were like, oh, I'm like, why were you over there? They're like, oh, I just signed up for a new course. Mm-hmm. I'm like, we could have met in person. Like, why'd you waste 10000 You know, I'm like uh, a million, million yen, you know. It's like, you know, geez, I would have totally met you. Don't worry, you know. But, uh, you know, it was just madness, you know, so, so then he figured it out anyway, so he, he fired me, but it wasn't right, you know, he fired me before Christmas, mm. and so, and I, and I, you know, I didn't, didn't have any money, you know, I hadn't saved any money, I wasn't expecting to be fired before Christmas, you know, so I was like, fuck, you know, so I said, I'm, I was like, fuck this shit, you know, so I, um, so then I went I organized, I went to the school and I organized a protest. I just sit there, yeah. And the students all liked me, so they all sat around me because they kind of understood what I was doing. And then, and so then, uh, finally, the, we were all, all day, you know. So then the, the guy brought us in and he said, oh, you know, uh, you guys don't quite understand the difficulties here, a little complex. I can't tell you all the details, but Paul's done some bad things, you know. So, you know, and it was enough that they were kind of like, okay. And then, and, then, and then he said to me, he said, he said, you know, the, the Yakuza is very dangerous. He said, watch out for the Yakuza, you know. And I said, I said, is that so? So I went back and wrote down the story of him threatening me with the Yakuza. So I showed up the next day with placards. <laughs> so he threatened me with the Yakuza. Yeah. He was getting nasty. Oh yeah, yeah. And but I did what no Japanese do. I, I ruined the school. Like oh, he lost tons of money. Off the wow. Oh, I totally destroyed it. I'm like, wow. Because you put it in the open. Yeah, it was a huge school. Wow. It was a huge school. It was a huge fucking school. They even had like ten buses always driving around with classes going on because there's they couldn't rent enough rooms, you know, for everything. It was a crazy time. So much money, you know. I just I just had a sign that said Yakuza, because I didn't really know how powerful that was. Because I asked somebody to translate it for me, and the girl's like, Are "You sure you want to fucking write this?" You know, <laughs> like, and I'm like, I'm like, that's what he said, and she's like, uh, "You wouldn't, you know." So anyway, so then I wrote it, and so but she had made it clear that you know. So anyway, so I go down there. So luckily I had one good friend who 
Chris Burge. He's a good friend of mine still. And he, he wouldn't stand with me because he was afraid. But he did go across the street and watch. Yeah, in case anything happened. Yeah. That was the best I could get. That was the best. Yeah. That's the story you were talking about. That was a pretty big deal. So then I was there. And then I was, you know, young. And the guy was in the episode, which is like. Heavy. Back in the 80s, very heavy. The guy that worked at the school? The guy that owned the school. Yeah, yeah he was a, definitely Jap- Yakuza money, right? It's complicated. See, the thing is, I did it just right. I made it public. And that ruined everything. Yeah. Not that he would have killed me. I mean, I don't want to... Yeah, yeah. Too many people make themselves into some fucking spy novel. Okay, threat. just trust me. It just gets out of hand. I don't know what he could have done. But I was scared yeah, and I was you're, worried. You're young guy, and, so. and well, he was calling me and saying he's going to kill me. Like the mafia was calling me. Like, oh, really? Yeah, they'd hang up the phone. So, yeah. So could you feel this like cloud of pressure oh, coming yeah. down from like the supposed Yakuza that you're like, okay, I have was, to like watch it, my back every yeah, turn. Really or, well, so then, so then, then the angel came. So then this guy, and I don't even remember his name, but I remember his face perfectly. So he said to me, he said, uh, Balsan, you know. In your life, you're going to have a battle, you know, and you cannot run from that battle, you know. So this is your battle, you know. <laughs> so I was like, okay. I was like, okay, you know. So you know, so he's going to support me. Fuck it, yeah, you know. He wants to think that. I mean, maybe it is, you know. I don't know. You know? Yeah. So anyway, he fully helped. Was out. some guy on the street when you were he was a student. Oh, student. Student. He was. He was a student. He was a nice guy, and he put his. You know, he was. He was. Consult, consulting me gotcha. on the side quietly, you know. He was, yeah, yeah, exactly. He was on my side, so kind of making sure people talked and everything. And so then, so then, every time he brought up the ante, I brought up the ante. So I'm down there protesting uh, with the actors, the signs, and I'm handing them out. Even worse, I'm actually handing the whole story out in Japanese to people, just smiling, you know, foreigner. Oh, Nice to meet you. Oh, what? What? Yakuza? Yeah. Oh, you're handling this hand school hand. here? Are you fucking kidding me? Because it wasn't. Hand. It wasn't that he was yakuza. It's that Japanese society. You didn't talk about these things. But if you do these things, oh, then, then you have to wow. do something about it. So uh, what I what I was doing was unwittingly, totally destroying the guy completely. Right. But I didn't know. I'm just like I want to get paid my four thousand dollars. You know, he owes me, right? You know, and so you know. So he, and so, well, so so then I was on, on the street, and protesting, and then a cop car came, and because I don't know much about the law right, on even today, so he said they said yeah. basically looking back they kind of said do you want to get in the car, and I was kind of like okay what do you I never read a cop car so Japanese cop car so we went back to the police station, and they were nice and they said, and this is when I realized that Yakuza and the Japanese police are together. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my Japanese was getting pretty decent, yeah. Yeah, I was getting pretty decent. I was, I was going to school, was, you know. I, I'm sure I pissed him off with like words that the girls taught me and stuff, but I was able to. You knew what the cops were I was I was moving along by Japanese, you know. Still rough, very rough. But so anyway, so then I was. They picked me up, took me to the police station, and they said, "Well, what do you want?" I said, "What do you mean, what do I want?" They're like, "Well, how much do you want the guys to pay you?" <laughs> No. And I'm like, the cops said that. The cops yeah, said that. yeah. They like, how much? Like they they were nice. Yeah. They, they they were nice. They were like, no, but it's not exactly that. It's just that people got along in Japan. Uh-huh. They could talk to each other. Yeah. You know what's this guy's like beef? Wheel and deal. Yeah, kind of wheel and deal kind of thing. You know, it's not like yeah, it's not like some. It's yeah. very uh, it's very nice. It's just wheel and deal. Yeah, exactly. It's nice. It's quaint. You know. Yeah. And so they I, they were like, well, how much do you want? And look, unfortunately, I just said what I was owed. Mm. Which was four grand, because I could have said a fuck ton more. Yeah. yeah. So then, uh, then, 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 uh, I got a phone call that night when I went home, and they said, like, don't do anything else. Like, you got our attention, you know, just basically wait. You know, don't do anything else. So I was like, okay, that sounds like a smart move. Yeah. So I, I was gonna, you know, because now it's like six months have been going. Yeah, they've been threatening my life. And he, the guy's teaching me how they do it. Like, they throw ramen on you. 
you know, hot soup, and they get you into a fight, and they, they, you know, so there's ways that they can kill you. So he was worried enough about me. He was teaching me how they do it. So, so I was like, I, you know, I was like definitely not sleeping at home every night. You know, once in a while, you know. Change it up. Or yeah, just kind of like yeah, you know, look a little bit. You know. Just well, no, yes. Uh, twenty. Let's see. I just turned. I was turning twenty six about now. Yeah. It's very yeah. Very, very, very My dad's the worst. So this the Yakuza is nothing. Yeah. 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 My dad's way worse than the Yakuza. Yeah. So. Did you wear a disguise at any point, or like do anything to like mask who you were or something at the time? No, no. But I definitely had some. You know. Lost a little sleep, and I'm a pretty good sleeper. Okay. Yeah. So I was like, eh, was a little, cup up, up for a couple hours there, and then I'd go to sleep. But anyway, so then, so they finally <laughs> called me. That, that's what it was. That's, I was. that's what I was trying to do. But I, was, I sleep too good for that, so it doesn't really work for me. Yeah. But uh, so then uh, they called me, and they said, look, uh, meet us at this place this time. So I, then I had another friend, because Chris was getting scared now, so... I, I can't remember who it was. I had another friend come with me. I can't remember who it was now. I actually don't remember at all if they're Japanese or a foreigner, who they were. But somebody was with me. They were like, okay, I'll go with you. I'll go with you to the meeting. Yeah, so we went to the coffee shop. And uh, I sat down. And then, like, there was, like, all these, like, this is exactly what happened. This is not exaggeration at all. So it was like a big, you know, meeting room kind of place, you know, very official. Like, you know, like heads of state, it feels like. When you go to Japan, you can't believe how formal it is back then. And this was the end of the, the bubble. And they had a lot of money. And they still had a lot of infrastructure and gold and everything was, yeah. A lot of it was based on uh, pomp and circumstance, you know. So it was all there. So when you, when you were a young kid looking at it, it was pretty fucking amazing. It's like being in a fucking museum, you know, all this gold and shit, you know, crazy shit going on, like literally girls giving me fucking gold watches and shit. It was madness, you know. Yeah, yeah. Can't run for my thing because it's pounding on my bones. The, the gold is too heavy. Yeah. Like it's just fucking madness. Yeah. Crazy. Girls just throwing money. Girls spending $5,000 just to impress me for the night and giving me their virginity. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? You know, I'm just like, <laughs> I cannot understand. I still feel you're a so it was all going at the same time. That's why I say it's it all at the same time. That was happening while all that was at the happening. same time. Yeah. So yeah, I was fighting the exit. The girls were helping me. They were like firing me up, you know, because they knew I was like serious. And I think they, they knew it's like this guy is a force of nature. So whoever supports this guy is going to win. You know, that was the kind of, I think that's the girl's opinion. So they were like, okay, we're going to help this guy win. Whatever he wants, we're going to help him win that battle, and that'll be good, you know. So they were kind of, like, very supportive, even though it was a crazy thing, you know, fighting the Yakuza. Yeah. They were pretty crazy. You and know. you're a foreigner. Yeah. yeah, and they're already threatening my life. Fuck you, know, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just figuring this shit out. It's like a movie or something, you know. And meanwhile, I'm just like, oh, sushi. You know, all this shit's going on, you know. It's like craziness, right? Just fucking hilarious, yeah. Uh, so, so then uh, the guy sits down. Guy comes in, the big boss, and and then I just immediately knew, like it was very Japanese. They were patting everybody on the back. You know, they they they, they were like, and I'm just like, what the fuck's going on here? So, and they said, uh, here here you go, and they moved over the money, you know, and I looked in, I'm like. The cops are connected to the Yakuza. And I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> you know, the cops told you this, and they started laughing. It was like, you know, I was like, surprise. I didn't know. It's exactly what, you know, you know, it wasn't exactly for it. It was exactly the amount, right? Oh, wow. And, and I was like, because I calculated. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, you know, I can get that money, yeah. So then, uh, but then, uh, and then, and then they all stood up and bowed. Like, they really respected me. I could mm. tell. I could tell. It wasn't just a thing. Mm. They were like, this motherfucker is tough. Like, you know, and, they, they were, and it was cool. Mm. Yeah, I signed the contract. I didn't even fucking read it. I didn't know what I was signing. I was like, yeah, no problem. I, I just respected him. You got 
You got to know when to fold and when you make a move. Mm. I knew the best thing is don't question anything. Yeah. Don't count. Don't question. Yeah. I won or I'm going to get killed. Mm. So who knows? Yeah. Yeah. If they wanted to kill you, they would have killed you at some yeah. other time. They came yeah. Or beat me up or whatever. Yeah. I don't want to. They approached you. Yeah. That's the story that you were going to Be, Beware of people taking too many spies and too much important. Yeah. You can get killed, but it's not that important. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, um, 